Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 13, which looks totally, totally different. And I wanted to bring you guys a video about it. And just right off the bat, I'm not feeling all the buttons are super big. And the reason why I heard the buttons are so big on this version compared to the old version, because if I load up Studio Platinum 11, which I'm currently using, which I love, it does all my vlogs, everything, and you go, do you want to access the following type? Uh, no. And then you see over here, everything looks totally different all the buttons are smaller and looks cleaner this looks more cartoonish and the reason why i say it looks more cartoonish is the 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 buttons are so big and they say the buttons are that way for windows 10 windows 8 how windows 8 used to be a full touch screen so you can actually touch the screen and be able to touch the buttons and that's what it was meant for but you also have the ability to do 4k so in Sony Vegas Studio Platinum 13, you go up to, so with Sony Vegas Studio Platinum 13, you have the ability to go up to the properties button and now you can render your video out at 720p, 1080p, 480p, and now 4K. And I'm going to try to do 4K on this video just to see how it looks like on YouTube because I've never rendered a 4K video. And... This is just going to be pretty much an upscale video because it is a screen cap at full 1080p at 30 frames per second. And if you guys are not familiar with what videos you should be uploading at what render, look at what your camera is recording at. If you're doing a full 1080p video but you want to keep the file size as small, you can render it as a 720p video. But don't try to do a, a 1080p 30 frames per second video at usually 4k because you're upscaling and don't try to do it at 60 frames per second because it's not going to be really any difference because you're just upscaling the video so you just go down and you can see where it says 4k video this is the first time with sony vegas you can do 4k unless you have sony vegas studio platinum uh, i mean unless you have the pro version this is just the more of the consumer version but as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will start pumping out more videos so you guys can figure out how to use Sony Vegas Studio Platinum 13. Overall, I'm learning how to use it. I, I'm definitely a pro at uh, 11 because I've used it for almost a year and a half, and I might still use it because I love it and I like some of the functionalities that it has, but like I said, in this video, all I'm showing you is how to render your videos at 4K or 1080p usually I do 1080p 30 frames per second but in today's video it's gonna be a full 4k video so remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember if you're doing 4k video the quality is gonna be really high quality and especially the file size is gonna be big that's why you might want to do you might want to stay away from that if you don't have a lot of memory on your computer but as always I'm Trevor and I'll see you guys in the next review video